Hello everyone, in today's video I will be talking about how to install the GitHopper plugin and how you can start using it. The first thing we need to do is to download the Git software and the GitHopper plugin. Now you have to install the Git software. I'm just going to click next for all the options. I'm not going to change anything. Next we have to open the Rhino 6 or if you're using the Rhino 5 you have to open that. Now I'm going to open the grasshopper. Next, I'm going to check if I already have the plug. As you can see, there's no GitHopper here. So I will be going to the files, the special fol folders and components folder. Now I copy the GitHub plugin here. Just gonna close the Rhino now and reopen it. Let's check the result and As you can see, now we have the GitHub plugin and we can use it. Basically, there are two ways to create a new repository. The first way is to create a new folder for your new repository. I'm going to name it my repo1. The next thing that I have to do is to tell GitHopper where the location of this folder is. So I'm going to put down the git pass component and I'm going to copy this location address. If I check the report, it will tell me that the current working directory is this path. So I've done this part correctly. The next thing that I'm going to do is to create my repository here. This is just a folder right now. So I'm going to use the create git repository component. I'm going to Tell it my username and email. Now it is best to look at this folder as I push this button. As you can see, a new .git folder is added to my repository. And now I know that my repository has been initialized. The next thing that I'm going to do is to set up the remote repository. I go to my GitHub page, to the repository section, and I'm going to press the new button. When it comes to selecting a name for my repository, I'm going to copy its name here. Right now, I'm going to choose the public, press the create repository button to create my remote address. Uh, 
and when I press it I take a look at my report let me stretch it a little bit the remote address is now set now it's time for the easier way to create a new repository first thing I'm going to do is to go to my github page go to my repositories and I'm going to create my repository right here in my github page I'm going to name it the new repo and as you can see I can add a description I'm going to say some test repo I'm going to set this one to private if I select the private option others can see my repository however the details of what people can and cannot see is set by your settings I'm going to tell the github to initialize this repository with a readme now I push the create repository button and my new repository is created with the readme file inside it now how can I uh, get it on my device we're gonna use the clone repository component for that it is best to have your repositories in a single place that way it will be easier to handle them so I'm going to create a new folder call it my repositories I'm going to clone my new repository that I've created on github here I copy the address of it put it here make sure not to enter uh, extra spaces or new lines at the end of your location address uh, and I need the URL for my github repository as you can see here's the button I'm going to push this to copy the address now I paste it over here and uh, although I have the username and user email input over here uh, because I've already entered this stuff before I don't need to do it anymore so I only need a button to clone this now please pay attention to the readme file that exists on our page and here's the location for my repositories if I press this button I can see that it asks me for a username or email and a password that is because uh, I'm trying to access a private repository so I must log in to my github account I'm going to do it right now now that I've entered my username and password for github I press the login button as you can see my repository is now available on my local device and if I go inside it I can see my readme file is available the benefit to creating your repository this way is that it takes less time and a lot of settings will be handled by github itself uh, as you can see our readme file was created by github we could choose the, a license file so i recommend creating your repository in the easier way that i've just explained